Where, where are you, Trail? Look at that. Taconic Crest, Taconic Crest Trail. Through the fence. How ghetto. <laughs> Closed to all motorized vehicle. Twin Pond, Berry Pond, and P Potter Pond. Mountain Road, sorry. Pittsfield State Forest. Well, I guess we're only going 10 miles times three. Oh, here we go. Let's get this done. Here we go. Half a mile in. Only 35 and a half to go. <laughs> Boy, doesn't that sound sickening saying it like that. But anyways, all hardwoods starting off. Hard to follow the trail. Ooh. First sign, there's nothing here. <laughs> they don't even have like, like the things where the legs are. Tower Mountain. What's our elevation though for this one? Where's my elevation? 2,205 feet. Mile 7.31. You got a bathroom. Is it unlocked? There's <laughs> no way in. You gotta go through the pipe in the top. Good. I think I should bring my own toilet paper though. <laughs> so right after the bathroom we found, which was a little bit of a alternative route, coming to Berry Pond, highest natural body of water in Massachusetts, elevation 2150 feet. And there was a sign on the other side over there that said no swimming, so can't swim in it, I guess. Not that I would today. It's freezing. And up the road we go, I guess. So we're like, well, not like, we're, like, we're eight miles in. And so far this trail has been more, oh, 2% physical and 98% mental. You take your eyes off the trees one minute and you lose it. We've gone down the wrong way at least five times. I mean, it's still dark out and actually the temperature's dropping. I got a layer on because <laughs> I'm cold. And, uh, but it's been cool so far. Well, I say cool, cooler than I thought it was going to be. Let's not, not lie and say this is exciting by any means. But anyways, uh, so we got, well, let's say I think 13 miles is our water drop which I haven't drank any water because it's cold and dark and haven't even thought about it. One word. Potter Mountain Road. 10.85 miles. <laughs> I wonder if he was chasing that deer. Coyote right there. Oh, there he goes. He's running. You scared him. You got orange on. He thinks you're gonna you're gonna shoot him. Where'd the deer go? Cause it went up that way. I don't know my I don't know what coyote call is. Whoops! I'm not even pointed at him. Yeah, puppy. Roadside snack. <laughs> What's that? Apple. 12.9 miles. It was easier to drive here than it was to walk. That water drops right up here. About a quarter of a mile. Still no one sitting in the chairs. Or parked at the parking lot. <laughs> Water drop number one. See if they can find it based on my video. <laughs> Layering or oh, 
<laughs> seeing how good my directions are. Getting warmer. <laughs> I can see it from here, yeah. I'm not sure they would have found it with my directions though, if I didn't point out the blaze. Obviously not that many people this way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lot of water. Yeah, it is. I don't know if that, I don't know if that bag will support the weight either. <laughs> I thought you said per person. That's why Eric's like, what are they taking, baths? <laughs> I said one gallon per place. Oh. <laughs> I did one gallon per person. Oh, no. I should have probably said again, one gallon is one. No wonder. I didn't know how much you guys drank. <laughs> I did one gallon per person. He said do one gallon. Per drop, I misunderstood him. I've got plenty of water. Thirteen point two four miles. Total ascent thirty two hundred feet already. Wow. Eight o'clock. On the dot. So after that water drop, it's straight up for a bit. Back on the ridge. No messing around. Just go into it. It's like you go up a little bit, take a right. Right up. Go we'll back up on the ridge on the other side of the road at 13.6 miles. Only 20 more or so to go, maybe 19 ish. Depends. Everybody's track seems to vary. I've seen between 36 and 40 miles. And all the wrong turns we made, I can see how it gets up to 40 quick. <laughs> oh, whew. Here we go. Off to Next milestone, but unless we come across the, a view, will be the water drop. There's a view there at the trailhead. <laughs> Woohoo! Massachusetts leaving Mass and entering New York. My first time hiking from Mass to New York, even though it was only 14.1 miles. But hey, whatever, right? Still exciting. So when we went down that state marker, we were actually on the wrong trail. So I went back into Mass, made a right-hand turn, or which would have been left, because I'm going back the other way, but I'm back in New York, because you can tell by, well, it says New York on it, but the round trail marker signs. So back in New York, the right way. Entered into New York, back to Mass, Mass back to New York, on the correct trail. And it looks socked in down there for some reason. Probably our first viewpoint, the way this day is going. Seventeen miles and still no viewpoint. Oh, geez, not going. Seventeen miles and still no views at all. So I'm running this section. I kind of broke off from the group. Oh, God. Let me stop for a minute so you're not bouncing and get sick. So I kind of broke off from the group, Karen and Lynn. Um, this was prearranged, so they knew I was going to eventually do it because I've got to work tomorrow and I think it's a bit faster than them. Um, so figured good enough time as any in this nice flat area where I can run, kind of make up some time. It's only quarter of 10. So 17 miles before 10 o'clock, not bad. But I'd like to be done within like around four o'clock, which would make it uh, 14 hours. No, 13 hours, sorry. 13 hours, we started at three, not two. We started driving at two, but started hiking at three. And anyways, let's get back to it. Well, at mile 17.42, you can sit down and enjoy a bench like this and then you realize that you still have 20 
yeah, 20 miles left and you don't sit very long. So let's go. And here we're into the ferns now, but they're dying or dead. So we don't have it that bad, but I heard this is like, this section's like a lush rainforest and you wash yourself as you walk by and all these tall ferns, waist deep. So I think we picked a good time to do this, even though we're dealing with the leaves covering the trail. So we got Robinson Hollow, yellow trail markers going to the left. We're not going that way, even though if I could hitchhike back to my car, I might do it. And then, oh, look, the Conic Tress, Crest Trail, Madden Road, 5.2 miles. Conic Tress, Crest Trail. Okay, Berlin Mountains, 8.7, Route 2. Is 11, so we got 11 and a half miles till our next water drop. Which I haven't drank any water. I should empty this out because 11 and a half miles is nothing on this. Dump my water bottles down to half and then save my pack weight. I'll save a couple pounds maybe. Oh, I'm probably not. <laughs> probably should learn what the weight of water is. That's a stress over weight. Me? Meanie. Miney. Mo. This is the most exciting thing that's happened on the trail since I made fun of a co-worker for the video, which I will actually play for you. I get small hands. My name is Dave. Small hands. Small hands. Long arms. And I'm short and stocky. I'm going to go this way. Always go to the right. Right? Oh. Wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts make a right or is it the other way around <laughs> yes this trail is that exciting well i think we may be switching states again new york we must have slipped back into mass and then reckon it realized oh wait no the mass is over here so i'm in mass now so the trail is split down the middle Mass in New York. So right on the state line. Boom. Well, at least this one's cool. This is the most exciting stuff. Now, the newest most exciting stuff on this trail. It keeps getting better. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually not rate this one of the most boring trail that I've ever hiked. Maybe I'll rank it second from the bottom. But then I'll have to find a more boring trail that I've hiked more boring than this possible here we are at maybe the second intersection on in 21.2 miles god that i can't read that madison hollow that way and bentley hollow that way i have no idea i didn't know we had hollows or hollows in the northeast but we obviously have them in New York, maybe Mass. I don't know what state we're in anymore. Berlin Mountain, which I believe is the highest climb or highest mountain on this hike. 2.6 and at 5.5 to Route 2 to our water drop. Right now we're at 20, 12 o'clock, 12.17, 23.85 miles and 61.81 of elevation gain. How are we going? So apparently that's Berlin Mountain. Now, I ran into two guys on mountain bikes and they claimed they would have great views there. No, well, it's a view. <laughs> Did not recharge my energy banks at all. But I know it's people camping on the top from some college or something. Anyways. I guess they didn't read that sign. Green Hollow Junction 1.2, Route 2 is 2.9. So for that 30 miles, we'll be at Junction to Route 2 Junction. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 29.1. I have my map perfect. Now we're gonna find the water. And I see it up there. Closer for them, I think. Let me just 
interesting days. Two more liters. Get me to the end. Holy crap. There's actually people here. Oh, I got it. Filled up with water. Eat my last peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, look, we have a scramble. Most exciting thing so far, a stretch. <clears throat> Camping and hunting are prohibited. forest everything but feeder prohibited and they got a map Whew. all right look at that our first legit viewpoint with a half ass bench over there to sit and watch the view that we're not doing because we have about eight more miles to go we're on the other side of route two now but it's good to see a view at least. Oh, look at that. Another viewpoint. They're all on this side of the route too. Whew. We're almost to the snow hole, whatever that is. And uh, must only be a lot of people that go to it because I'm seeing all kinds of jeans passing me. Here we go. Route 346, five more miles. Right by the snow hole. Um, I didn't go down to look at it. Not adding any more miles today. It's still not too over the exciting. But so five more miles, so that'll put us at 37.07. So we say 37. Probably oh, good. This which is a mile less than I thought it would be. Woohoo! Made it. It is. It's five o'clock. We've got 36.94 miles, time 14 hours and 8 minutes, calories 63.26, steps 64,000, I don't know, close enough. So we're back at the van at 5 o'clock. I'm so happy to be back. Now, let's start the 4-hour drive home. We're not going to go the whole way, but part, most of it, or at least half of it. Here we go. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I wish I could have made this hike more exciting than it really was, but it just wasn't. I did the best I could. And I've seen some action on the Ultra 8 website, so maybe it's back. As far as I know, this is a dead list, and I'm just out there doing it to see if I can do it. Stay tuned for more Ultra 8s in the future, and I'll see you out there. Have a good one.